If you ever bought one of these cases, it would contain one of these. This is part of the input switching boards. It would have been located just behind this switch, which corresponds to here, and the three LEDs which are here. And that would normally be, obviously, in the front panel. This would have been connected to a relay board in the back of the chassis. And it was simply, you pressed here, and it would leap along and light up one of the LEDs and corresponding relay. Now, the only reason I'm bringing this point up is that if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll see I've actually had three or four of these chassis and all of them have the same switching arrangements. And I've actually gone on and, and sold um, two of them and two of them I still have here. And on the one that I've been using, and it contains my L12 amplifiers, but I've noticed the switching on it of late has been sluggish and, and didn't doesn't cycle the way it used to. So I thought, well, I'll have a look inside and see what it was. And I found the fault, and it's on this board. If you look carefully, you'll see that this electrolytic is swollen and it's if I can get it like this no it's probably easier to see it like that and I couldn't really understand why because the circuit is basically the 12 volts AC comes in here is rectified by this bridge rectifier and there's a 5 volt regulator now when it first comes in out of the rectifier it goes to this capacitor these are both the same, these capacitors, by the way. And so that has 12 volts on it. And after regulation, this one has 5 volts on it. And that leads to the output and the various other circuitries. Both these capacitors are 470 microfarad at 25 volts. So clearly this has 5 volts on it and the other one has 12 volts. Now. Initially, I just thought, oh, faulty electrolytic, I'll replace it. But when I put the test meter across it, this one is actually mounted the wrong way round. And it's been like that since new. I didn't build this kit. This was a pre-made pre item. And I think the only reason this electrolytic hasn't actually gone bang is because it's only got five volts on it. Now, obviously that's reverse polarity and over time, it's obviously got somewhat warm and it started to um, vent. But the reason I'm telling you about this is when I've looked at back at the other videos that I've made, every one of these boards has that capacitor round the wrong way. Now, I think the likelihood of it exploding is probably quite slim because of the relatively low voltage on it and the relatively high working voltage of the capacitor. But this has been working with that round the wrong way for over a year and a half now, and it's only just started to, to play up. So if you've got one of these, check the capacitors around the right way. That's the correct way. So the negative should be up and the opposite of this one. So this capacitor I'm going to replace and it should all spring back to life again. More examples of untested Chinese crap and it just makes me so cross.